Facts First presents… A man buys a $2 photo in an antique shop and jumps back when he sees who's in it. Help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Randy Gajaro didn't believe in luck. He was taught that if you wanted something, you had to work for it. Well, ever since he was six years old, he took pride in his belongings, and he cared for them well. When he was a kid, he would pick pennies up off the street, shiny buttons and scrap from the yard. By the time he was seven years old, he was given the nickname The Hoarder. Randy's mother hoped that her son's fascination with junk would pass, but it never did. It got worse. Randy's house was cluttered with coins, books, comics, paintings, statues, clocks, trading cards, toys, stamps, and jewelry. His family often told him that his possessions were junk. He knew they were wrong, though, and finally he was able to prove that. Randy made a living by selling the treasures that he found. Each of his items had a story behind it. When he met a woman named Linda, they fell in love and decided to move in together. He promised Linda that he would cut back on his collecting. He had trouble giving up the habit, though. He never knew his decision would have such a huge impact on his life. In 2010, Randy was in the Fresno Tower District to meet a friend for coffee, and on his way home he passed Fulton's Folly Antique Collective. Although he did promise Linda he would stop buying things until everything in the spare bedroom was sold, he was just too tempted and went inside. He promised himself that he would leave within 10 minutes. When Randy went inside, he was in heaven. He saw old pianos, records, prams, dolls, board games, and plenty of other items. He'd never seen such a collection. He knew that he couldn't leave without buying something despite his promise to Linda. He had plenty of things in his hands to purchase, too, but he thought of Linda and put them all back. Well, on the way out, he did see something he just couldn't resist. There were two men outside, shaking hands. As he walked towards them, he saw stacks of cardboard boxes on the ground. They were all different sizes, and he knew that it was a blind buy. The idea of what was in the boxes caused him to become extremely excited. These types of deals usually occur when a store is overstocked. The owner probably needed to unload the items quickly to be able to bring in new merchandise. Randy wanted those boxes badly. Randy decided to ask the men if he could take a look in the boxes. Randy was surprised when he heard the men had heard of him from the online antique community. Well, before loading the boxes onto the truck, Randy was allowed to look inside. Nothing stood out really at first, but he kept looking and he was sure that there had to be something great in those boxes. Randy found a smaller box in the big box with some black and white photos inside. He knew he promised Linda that he wouldn't buy anything, but, well, he was a sucker for old black and white photos. One looked kind of familiar to Randy, too. He knew that he just had to have them, so he offered the men the last two dollars he had in his wallet, and the men really didn't think much of the old photos, so they let Randy buy them. When Randy showed Linda the photos, she was horrified. She asked him what he paid for them. When he told her it was just two dollars, she asked if he knew who it was. Finally, Randy realized why the photo looked so familiar. The couple arranged to meet with a local historian to inspect the photos. They were from the 19th century. The man in the photograph playing croquet was Billy the Kid. He escaped sheriffs and prison until he was shot at the age of 21. There were never any photos of the man until now, and Randy owned the photo. The only other photo of Billy was bought in 2011 for $2.3 million. It took years and several trips across the country, but finally Randy and Linda did prove that it was Billy the Kid in the photo, making that photo priceless. For the first time in his life, Randy considered himself lucky. Had he not been near the antique shop after getting coffee, he never would have found the photo. It was the one time that Linda was not angry with Randy for breaking their agreement and buying something what he wasn't supposed to. Subscribe for more!